Are you the one who bound me? I don't know. What? Oh. <laughs> she what was. So why didn't we think that? Why didn't we think it? Welcome back to New Rock Stars. This is a reaction to the final two episodes of Agatha All Along. I'm Eric Voss here with Jessica Clemens. Oh, we did it. <laughs> did you forget who you were for a second? I was thinking about. Damn. It's already done. Like, I, I was know. just thinking about the episodes are done, and then you said, and then you paused, and I went, oh, it's my turn. He laid it up. <laughs> when you thought about your own identity, a weird little sigil formed in your head. I That's did. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, I just couldn't say it. You couldn't, couldn't say, say it. it. We're at the end of the Witch's Road, everybody. It's been a delightful journey watching this show with you all and watching it with you, Jessica. Yeah. It's been a coven of two here at New Rockstars, <laughs> but we're here. We're going to watch the two episodes, episode eight and episode nine. We're going to react. You're going to see our in the moment reaction. Ooh. We're going to talk about the highlights of it, and we're going to watch each episode back to back. We're going to pause a little bit in between to kind of talk about our feelings as we pivot into episode nine. And then after episode nine, we're going to have like a conversation just talking about our, our general reviews of the episode. And then uh, we are going to get into a lot of the details, the theories, the takeaways, the, the Easter eggs tomorrow morning at 11 a.m., Thursday morning, Pacific time, on the Break Room channel, Jessica and I will be joined by Brandon Barrick and Zach Huddleston and Evan Yee, and hopefully John will be in the mix as well as we take your questions in our live stream Q&A. Uh, on Friday, on the New Rockstars channel, will be kind of an ending explained video. You're gonna have to wait until Monday for the in-depth Easter egg breakdowns of episodes eight and nine. I know you're screaming at your computer right now, but trust us, we just need some extra time to break down two episodes back to back. And while we can usually get one episode broken down by the end of the week, two of them, we just, oh, we need more time. We need the weekend. So thank you for your patience. No, we're going to be talking about this finale probably the rest of the week, even on yeah. maybe sneak peek. Uh, we'll also talk a little bit in sneak peek about other Marvel things. That's right. Mm -hmm. We'll be talking about this for the rest of our lives. <laughs> I yeah. never want to let go of this feeling. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, play. No title yet. Is that teen? I think that's Alice. Oh, 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 it's what it happened to her body. It's yeah. what happened to her body. Disembodied death. hand. It's death, girl. Give me this. Ooh, this is what I want to see. That hand is creepy. This is what I want to see. Oh, it's like ghost. Mm -hmm. You're dead, Willie. So the body is staying, but the soul is going, which uh -huh. is the conversation we were having. Uh, shadow ghosts come over. You died protecting someone. Damn. Aubrey, you know damn well it's not what I meant. But that six pack is wild. <laughs> six pack's cr crazy. She's though. like, you told, you mean to tell me they She's look this good? She's flexing like this. Dude. We're sorry, Alice. We don't think it's right that you have to go either. I, or maybe this is the beginning. There's something bigger that she's doing. Going to hell. Girl. <laughs> I feel the dream we'd seen into that vape smoke. Ooh, follow, follow me, me, my friend. friend. To glory at the end. Okay, we talked about that. We thought that was gonna be the episode nine title. You were distracting me from him. Mm. You're a big girl. I knew you'd figure it out eventually. He is an abomination. Oh, cause he came back. No one in history has had special treatment like you. What do we say? We were talking about this. Mm -hmm. We were talking. Why do you let them believe those things about you, huh? About Nikki? Nikki? Is, I, in, in the trailer, we think it's Teen that said that line. Because the truth is too awful. What's worse than people yeah. thinking uh, you killed you your kid? You killed your child. So Agatha's ex is death. God bless you, Billy, for just kind of saying what we say. He's doing it for us. Yeah. They wrote him for us. We are all the team, honestly. Literally, the writer's room just had a kid wander in and be like, who's this? She's dead? Borderline wasting the road's time. Oh. His brother isn't out there. <gasps> Tommy's not a waste of time. Not yet, anyway. The son of the Scarlet Witch stole a second life. <gasps> I can't Ooh, let him do the he's out there. twin. I have to take him. That's wild as hell. There's That's a some, wild as hell, Rio. There's some kid who is dominating track and field right now. And it's he, just like, why am I so fast? I do. You let me go. Girl, you will no one's believing you. This woman. I don't want to see your face. Damn. 
So you want me to like wear a mask? You want me to take this face off? You want me to go? <laughs> yeah. She cuts a hole in time. Oh God. <laughs> I, jo I was joking. I was show literally shit. joking. I was like, she's just gonna cut into the wall. I love that she could just Doctor Strange and Clea her way through any barrier, even if we thought it was a background. I'm fully aware that Agatha Harkness can never be anything but a covenless witch. Ouch. She's always popping out. <laughs> Get ready for fireworks. Get ready for spectacle. Get ready for... Oh, oh. Thank God, honestly. Oh, it was a circle. We're back where we started. Mm. Witches wrote as a circle. <gasps> Didn't I say that? I said that on break room. Did you? Mm -hmm. Oh, good job. There is absolutely zero chance I'm going to endure that experience again. Fine! Stay here! Also, she passed her trial. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just because y'all didn't do yours. Put on them goddamn shoes, baby. Tap dance on the road. There's no place like home. It's sealed. Ha. Huh. Ah, I know. I, I understood that reference. Are you the one who bound me? Uh, I don't know. What? Oh. Ah! She what was still, why rotten. didn't we think that? Why didn't we think it? Your mother and I are very proud of you. Boys, thanks for choosing me to be your mom. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's us every night we go to bed. We just hear WandaVision playing in our heads. <laughs> I only think about it. <laughs> That's always my dreams. Even if you can't hear him, you don't have to open your eyes to know how close he is. He could hear them through their minds. I, I'm saying right now, I was pitching that these are, Tommy is within him too. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Who is he? 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 Who do they get? We're going to see Tommy. We're going to see new Tommy. Am I killing this voice so my brother can live? What a thought. Oh my God. Am I killing this boy so my brother can live? And we don't know if he ever got in that body or not. But I assume he does because he I knows where to find him. Yeah, yeah, we didn't. We'll see. We know that he's getting bullied and can't swim. That's yeah. all we know. But he can run. Oh, Lord, can he oh, run? Oh, can that boy run? <laughs> run, boy! He's running on that run, water. Boy. Oh, when he comes to, he's sprinting over it's that just water. He's like dashing Incredibles. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. Very Wicked Witch of the West on top of the house. Mm -hmm, top of the house in the weather. <laughs> I'm thinking death by a thousand cuts. Ah, I love Woo it. It's, uh, hey, that happens in Jessica Jones, right? Oh, death by a yeah, cuts. yeah. You Damn. are a coward. And she calls you a coward. Duh, duh. Hit, Hit the, the deck. deck. Oh. Whoa. She was about to get decapitated by so, sink. Just <laughs> throw, throw everything at you with the kitchen sink, baby. <laughs> I love the lightning flashes of the skull. Ah! Ew, 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 Eric, no, oh, no, God's that's something that happened in Hostel. Disney Plus. Oh, uh, they went for the. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, that was kind of. <coughs> it's the teen, isn't it? Huh? Whoa. Wait, only Tommy can move. Oh, that if it's fast. white vision, I'm gonna okay. Oh, Whoa, look he's at got our boy. Mario. Look at Mario. Look at our boy. Look at our little Mario outfit. So that's my boy. This kind of feels like a finale. Yeah. I don't know what's after this. Now. Well, we saw a flashback, so maybe this kills Agatha. I don't know. Uh, uh, we'll watch. We'll watch. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 My God! Whoa! Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Turn off the cameras, dead ass. The kiss of death. Yeah. I guess oh. I haven't kissed this entire. No. That's wild as hell. Like, that's so wild as hell. Death came to Westview. What if it was a scroll? <laughs> Grody. <laughs> I'll take off these headphones and I will walk out. <laughs> that's exactly how I pictured it. 
if you are right, because you did say he is the witch's road, right? Or who said that on the break room? We were all theorizing that it could have been. I didn't. I didn't know. I know I didn't. I did not say this. If that is what comes out, I did not say that. Oh, my God. So, um... <laughs> Hold, just I, some, I'm so glad we get to watch one more episode. Yeah, we have one more episode. We'll get to it in just a second. But yeah. quickly, yes. thoughts on this. Um, we have... I get now why they put eight and nine together. Because if I had to have gone through this episode and then waited a week, I would have felt a little like Discombi- dissatisfied. It, it been like this There's just year. too much is thrown at us. Mm-hmm. We need answers right away. In a way that the episode is just a little like abstract it's a little like it's it's got a lot that is put in it that i think they they just had to do a lot of homework in this yeah. episode to just let the finale just kind of deliver the dramatic punch yeah I, I agree with that i agree with that it does feel like it kind of is weird maybe i don't know if it's like oh an initial episode would have helped or maybe making the other ones a little bit longer but it did mm-hmm. feel like they were like we gotta race we gotta right. go race so they did put a lot of a lot of stuff i think even like the fact that Agatha dies, but we also learn that Billy was the road is so much in one episode. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's it. understand it by yeah. turning to the finale now. Before we do, we want to thank some friends who helped us make this episode. Being online means pelted with ads the same way that being outside on a rainy day means being wet. Using an umbrella helps keep you dry. That's what most ad blockers do. That's not bad, but if you're using Pi, you can actually get paid for the ads you get served, which is even better. Pi is a browser extension you can use with Chrome, but it also works on mobile Safari if you download the Pi app. It has a suite of premium ad blocker features, but where Pi really sets itself apart is letting you opt in to see certain ads and get rewards for the ads you get served when you do. It also lets you find automatic coupons and cash back on over 10,000 stores at lightning speed with one easy click to save a ton of money when you're shopping online. Pi does more than block ads. It earns you the money you deserve for being pelted with them in the first place. To get started, click the link in the description below or go to pi.org slash new rockstars and add the Pi extension to your browser. Okay, so here we go. You ready for the real finale, the finale. episode? The episode shorter nine. episode finale. Let's let's do this. Ugh. Will Mephisto appear? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, our post credit scenes. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my god, we got it. Here we go. Three, two, one, play. Maiden Mother Crone. Ooh, I oh. love these uh, choir vocals. So we're gonna see the the triple goddess, right? Maiden Mother Crone, the different ages of witchhood. Oh, so we're gonna see our young, old. And- yeah. Oh, we're, this has gotta be flashback, right? Yeah. Is this her or is this Rio? I think it's Agatha. <sighs> 17. Oh, it's after. This, this is after, after yeah. the trial. How yeah. much How much longer? 16, About 96? 60 years or so, or so. Is it baby? Oh my God. This is, this is also what happened in um, Echo. Okay, so she wasn't on trial for what she did to Nicholas Scratch. That was unrelated. I'm gonna want. Oh, oh no. Why would death be appearing? Nature. Oh. She recognizes her. But she's taking she's her got that baby. that flower again. Whoa. The pain. That's not a newborn. That's much that is. A, I think that's a, almost a toddler. <laughs> yeah, it's a very cute baby though. I mean. I get now why she said it's worse because it's like knowing every day that death is going to come and take this Mm -hmm. baby. Someday. So these are witches. You see the golden dust with everything. In 1750, this would be my girls, dude. (laughs) This would be my homies. I absolutely would be with them. That's, you're out of your mind. If she sucks up their powers. Well, oh, she just did. (laughs) With the baby in the Bjorn. (laughs) Six years later. All right, so 1756. Is that him? A young George Washington will be fighting in the Seven Years' War. 1776. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, not yet. We'll get there. Shall we search together? Hmm? Oh, 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 Agatha taught him to steal. One can always rely on the kindness of witches. Give me that. Please return. Oh, no. Are those other witches? Yeah. Oh. I guess there's all a bunch of witches, and he's talking to the goat. If you want to survive, get used to this feeling. Girl, you should not have had a child. Like, I, what? what? She's like, we are going to kill and move on. 
There's a rose wild and rare. I like it. Uh, if I watch this boy die, I will throw myself through that. Don't make promises. Through that garage door. I'm loving seeing the brainstorming process of how they got to the ballad. Unless she could vaccinate. I bet she could. Oh, no, she can't heal him. Here we are. Oh, so now he's singing for money? <laughs> She's got him singing? Oh, so he just ran away? Oh, oh okay. I was going to say, if he disappears and then Rio comes out, <laughs> I'm not mad at the script, not mad at the story, mad at myself for having emotions. We can kill more witches tomorrow. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> da baby, no, baby. No, baby, we're not killing anybody. Oh, my God. Death, don't come for this boy. Don't come for don't this boy. Do it. <laughs> me, me standing ready to fight Rio <laughs> over my boy's body. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Okay, bitch. Oh, I did not no. need this. I didn't need this. A little tiny kiss. That's Nikki. Oh god. Nikki. Or no, is that a body? It's is that the him. body? The The cough didn't sound that bad. You put a child singing a little jig. A little jig, sorry. A little tune and then you murder him in a show. There's nothing in there. Not a single thing. You must know the way then. How dare you? <laughs> Who are you? That girl, 360. Down, down, down. Is she actually gonna go down the road or is she gonna steal everybody's power? <laughs> well, I think this is the previous time yeah. or it's gonna be. You're right, cuz. Uh, well, I guess we're gonna learn if she actually did That's just a down. honey trap. Yeah. She uses these fools. Well, they didn't know. I'm like, well, they just the got suckered into it. The a crazy fist thing fight. is, the amount of times she's just done this now in 2024, they're like, wait, she's gonna take it. Don't fall for <laughs> it. She's been doing all this trick of the book. She's been doing it for centuries. Look at these. How is no one falling for it? Like, how is people not caught on yet? Oh. Did you hear about the witch that's sucking people's powers in the forest? No, it's only the 20s. <laughs> that's true. No one's talking about these women mysteriously disappearing. I love all these outfits. She's literally a serial killer. <laughs> yeah. She's literally a serial killer. Oh. <laughs> and it's her in the comic. <laughs> it's the ghost Agatha on the witch's road. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. That's so fun. This is fun. This is actually kind of fun. <laughs> this is actually kind of fun. I this love this. This is actually this. very fun. I love this. Is this how she's going to keep coming back? I love this form of her. I love this. I'm, I'm obsessed with this. It means that I killed them. Well, technically, Agatha killed. Are they ghosts, too? Bring back my ladies. Is this because Re she was like, Rio, I never want to see your face again. And uh, Rio was like, I hate ghosts, so you're just going to be a ghost? I see that. In the tower. That was her choice. Mrs. Davis. Who? She didn't even belong in the road. Ah! Stop. 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 I'm banishing you. Oh. No. Wade ad lucio. Relinque terra. Noliese fantasma. No. You don't get another chance. Time He's dragging her to hell. Why won't you just die? Because I can't face him! Oh, she got it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, bitch. She can't face Nikki. Coven to? I do tend to kill my coven members. <laughs> so do I. Oh, baby, it's not the same. That bitch was doing it intentionally. <laughs> she deserves to be a ghost. Let's go find Tommy. Wait, is this how it ends? No, this is how it ends. I think this is how it ends. No, 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 it's I want to see it. The end. Okay, that is it. I'm so a little bad that Alice's whole thing was like mean as real being like, you protected someone, didn't you? Yeah, I think a good ending should feel like a new beginning sometimes. Yeah, yeah and it is, and it is, it truly is. And it looks like no oh. post credit scene. That? Okay, well, good. Okay, so talking about this episode more deeply, um, I find this to be um, like a not subversive, but unexpected way uh, for a Marvel show to end and unexpected in a good way. I think mm -hmm. that every other Marvel show ends with this kind of typical, predictable, 
battle. And instead, this episode moves that to episode eight and has episode nine be a more like uh, all questions answered about Agatha and uh, and just kind of a revelatory finale uh, in that it answers questions about her. And I think uh, a good ending should kind of feel like a new beginning. Uh, but I do think uh, the season as a whole did start to just shift in momentum. Um, you know, episode uh, up through episode five, that's where it kind of stuck to this formula of which is going to into a trial. Episode six is the Billy episode. So kind of a flashback episode, but still an incomplete flashback episode in that it doesn't answer everything. Uh, episode seven is the time jumping Lilia Calderu episode that feels like it's perfect contained story that is breaking the momentum of everything, but in a way that serves as beautifully structured episode. Mm -hmm. uh, and then episode eight, and nine felt slow to me. Yeah. Um, not bad, but just yeah. slow. Episode eight and nine were absolutely slow, which is interesting because it's like two of the longer episodes of the season, but it did. And I think it, it's hard to pick up that momentum. I will say the, the, <sighs> The building blocks they did for the episodes were so interesting. And I think you kind of talked to that too of like doing a half flashback, doing another half flashback, but then also getting going back to the present. It didn't feel like it was too confusing, but it did slow down like the race of the entire series for me. Mm -hmm. But I also, it's interesting because it didn't slow it down enough for me to like critique it in a way that's like, it slowed my momentum of how I was feeling and loving it. I was still like, I could, I can point those parts out, but I was also like, mm, still in the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, I'm still in the game. I'm so, I don't know why. I think it's the characters. You just love the characters too much. And I think I'm a person that loves characters too much. Mm -hmm. I thought um, that I, I really liked making Agatha die. Yeah. I think her having to embrace death and to pay that price, I think was essential to the story bringing her back as a ghost I thought was just a beautiful transformation and I I love seeing ghost Agatha yeah. I think uh that is her true form it is. didn't it feel like this her entire life has been just like a gestation period and now she has come back as almost like uh Gandalf the white in a way yeah. and I'm like this is what this is your destiny is to be dead yeah it she has to be dead it's also because you killed so many people and never found like they you never they those bodies never got justice and i feel like if those witches are dead somewhere and can see the world still they're like oh so she's now a ghost just having a fun kooky time <laughs> like uh -huh. she sucked my powers out in 1986 so i'm like there was never that justice and i think that's why i also didn't have that remorse when she did die i was like mm -hmm. oh i don't really care about agatha dying she needs to die but i also want to i want justice for the other which is that she sucked the powers out of so I guess I'm missing that part, but I also was like, her as a her as a ghost is just so fun. It's it's better than like um, the haunted mansion. I'm yeah. like, this is so fun for her, yeah. and I think it's a very fun tale. Yeah, nearly headless Nick. Yeah, Go f yourself. We got Agatha now. No, <laughs> she's I, perfect. She's I love great. her as a ghost. It's weird to be like, this is probably the most like comic accurate part too, is like making her a ghost versus a lot of other things that we've gotten from the comics to the MCU. And Jack Schaefer even said in WandaVision, she was like, yeah, we didn't really read the comics. I mean, now they have, but I'm like, oh, you guys did take this part from the comics. Yeah. And it's weird that it still works for this version of Agatha. The yeah. sassy Catherine Hahn Agatha, this is great for. I can't wait to see her more. And I'm really, I mean, I was excited to see her get banished, but I assumed that mm -hmm. if she got banished, we would see an afterlife that she went to and she would battle her way out of that. That's what I, you know, yeah. um, because obviously they must have plans or hopefully they have plans for ghost Agatha. Uh, the whole question of where is Tommy, the search for Tommy, I feel like it's going to be answered in Vision Quest. Because they said that Vision Quest is going to be chapter three of this trilogy. It has to be, yeah. And now it sets Vision Quest on this course of being an equally technologic, uh, technological story and a spiritual, supernatural, spooky story. But I love that both um, Billy and White Vision are like, uh, you're not my son and I'm not your dad. <laughs> like, good. We got, we got this out of the way because they both understand, like, we're not fully who Billy is and you're fully not who Vision was. So... We can just be friends and keep going. Yeah. It's, it, it's such an easy thing to be answered. I will say they did really uh, like make sure there was no like leaky faucets for their version of what the MCU is going to be going forward for them. Mm -hmm. Like with white, when white vision comes in, it won't be that crazy. It'll be like, yeah, because we saw all this happening. Uh, next time we see Jennifer for kale, if she's pissed, we're like, yeah, we understand why. Yeah. But also I guess she doesn't know that it was in Billy's mind because she, she left before he like realized it. Right. Yeah. I mean, it, it I think, 
Uh, I love what Sashir Zameda did with this character. I loved her. And I think this is one flaw with the show that we have to acknowledge. She'll come back. No, well, I mean, the show has written, yeah. they should have spent more time with Jennifer Kale in her history and answered those questions. And I'm, I know you can say, well, they talked it through. What do you mean they didn't answer it? Every other character got to benefit from show don't tell other than, than That's Jennifer true. Kale. Um, all we had from her was a vision in her beach mansion and her talking about it at a campfire later, and that is not enough. And then at first I was like, I don't need to get visual of like a man drowning her if that's what actually bound her powers. But now that it's Agatha, I'm like, oh, so what? And maybe they knew they were like, oh, getting a show version of her wouldn't have been fun to watch because she just mysteriously lost her powers one day. And I'm like, well, then that's just not fun. Yeah. I'm like, then that's just not a fun story to write. Like, and I think it made it, it made episode eight suffer just a little bit. A little because bit. Because episode eight bit, really yeah. hinged on that structurally, at least. And episode eight was just trying to do a lot. Yeah. Uh, and this was probably what they were hoping would be the most visually interesting other than the battle between Agatha and Rio, but even much of that battle, I think they they pulled some punches, I think, and yeah. uh, what they could have shown. It was not as vicious as a battle as like Agatha versus Wanda at the yeah. end of WandaVision. But for, I think for a lot of people, that was not that interesting in WandaVision. They don't really talk about yeah. that as much. It's interesting, yeah. When we talk about WandaVision, we never talk about the final battle yeah. in the sky. Yeah, so, I, I will sometimes, if I'm rewatching WandaVision, I'll fast forward through right. it. Right. Uh, because I care about the ending scene with lo- what is grief if love, love persevering. Yeah. Like in the boy. I would rather watch those parts. Was anything in this finale on par with what is grief if not love persevering no. or uh, vision and want is goodbye to each no. other and it, maybe in another life, you know, that no. kind of thing? Not at all. Yeah, I don't it think was we episode got seven. Like it was that. episode seven for Episode me. seven. Um, was episode seven better than the peak of WandaVision? I think episode seven to me was better than what is grief if not love persevering. I agree. Because, but I also... I think uh, all of our takes will probably be different. It's the it's the finding balance with death that really struck me. That I was like, oh, this is really beautiful. And like, what is grief if not love persevering? It's like, oh, I never thought about it like that. Same with Lilia. It's like, you can keep racing and you can keep trying to avoid this, but this isn't what it is. Um, I wish that the finale episode had as much of a profound um, uh, take on death that uh, Lilia, I feel like stepping away from the show, the most I learned was from episode seven. And I wish that episode nine had just another, like, I feel, for whatever reason, I feel like Agatha and Death's relationship was just a little underdeveloped by the end of it. We I don't am. know how she recognized her as Death when the first time she appeared mm-hmm. to take her son when she was in childbirth. Also, yeah. I wish that we had, uh, yeah, like, it, the first time they had met, we got to see that. Yeah, and also their relationship just was, like, in present day on the road it was like i hate you i'm sick of you You keep following me blah, blah 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 her son's about to die she's like my love please and i'm like what are you guys to each other mm-hmm. i'm like what is what is going on i know that you guys are partners you guys made that known in the present day but even in these flashbacks you guys aren't together right like what's going on why is she so in love with you and then also in that episode when the team dies rio does go into a thing about like i left a scar on someone i wish i never had to do that and i'm like so we're going back to that scene that really was very small to you. Mm-hmm. Like you literally came in the night, took the boy away and just right. never showed back up again. Right. Like, I don't know. I, uh, I feel like I still have a lot of questions about Rio. At, yeah, at I death, do. You know, um, the fact that she goes by Rio Vidal, we didn't really get any firm resolution with that. You know, mm-hmm. we can, we can apply our own interpretations. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, I think just answering that she is death. I think that is the show's version of that should be enough. Like we all kind of have our own associations of uh, death as a as a mm-hmm. bipedal force of nature that you know we cannot avoid. Um, yeah, I do feel like we missed what Agatha did before she was on trial from the Salemites. I was mm-hmm. thinking this yeah. flashback episode would go back to sixteen ninety two w- or ninety one. Which I wanted. I want. I want that. That those like ten years or whatever it was that between right after she killed them. So that baby. Yeah. I was like, like, why did, did Evanora think that her daughter was yes. born evil? We'll never gonna get that. We yeah, we didn't we're get an answer there. It. We're never gonna get it. Which it seemed I, like these were questions that the show posed, but it did not answer. Yeah, I also feel like it's hard because I'm like, you're trying to make another story 
but there's just so many loose, not loose ends in a bad way from WandaVision, but like, oh, a lot of questions about this specific character. So you got to answer this from WandaVision, but also you have to make your own story. So mm-hmm. I understand it's like not even wearing too many hot hats. It's just having a lot to put into only eight episodes. Uh, I completely understand that. You got five characters. Each got to get a story. Each got to figure out the answers in the MCU. Da 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 da. I I get it. But it was like, I I, I kind of want to know. <laughs> yeah. I want to know this one thing. And, but it doesn't make or break the situation though. Mm-hmm. No, it doesn't make the break or make or break. And next time we see her, God, God, I hope it is Ghost Agatha in Secret Wars. If we, <laughs> the most unhelpful being there. <laughs> next time we see her, it, it'll just be nice, and it'll just be like here she is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think um, uh, episode eight was probably my least favorite episode it's of the least. season. I agree. Uh, episode nine is somewhere in the middle. It's definitely not as good as episode not seven. Not as good as episode seven. No. I, I hate to do this. I hate to do this. Don't don't take it to heart. I, um, I think my bottoms would be like episode eight and the, um, unfortunately, Alice's Curse episode. Oh, yeah. Because uh, it just slowed down so much. It yeah. slowed down so much. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I, I think overall, Agatha All Along right. is a triumph for Disney Plus. No, I, it is. And for Marvel Studios. I think this, we want more of this. Uh, I'm noticing, I guess I have a little scar on my cheek. And it's because, you know, when your baby is just trying to claw your face sometimes, he said, he, his nail is sharper no. than you think. And he got me. Um, but no, yeah, we want more of this type of show. An episodic show that just is character development, people in close quarters just having conversations and feeling certain things and going through very real human experiences. Mm-hmm. This show has been an amazing journey. And uh, I learned so much about all of these women. And I, I just, I love them all by the end of it. I I do too. I love I love this show. It's gonna be hard. I I it's such a good thing to have this on um MCU or in the MCU and on Disney. I just don't want Disney taking it and being like, let's do it again, a, little, a different thing. It's a magic. It, it like like magic. It it was a trick, and it was a trick made by a brilliant team, and they can do it again. But I just don't want you guys thinking that you can just like keep draining this fresh orange for its juice every single time. Um, it's a dance. You can't just keep doing it all the time over and over and over again. So I'm like, I want Disney to keep making things like this, but they don't have to like imitate it completely. Mm-hmm. I'm like, just remember that it does not take that big of a budget to make such a great thing. It takes people that have been there the entire time. I would say that, and you mentioned this on sneak peek, I think that I'm like, yeah, Jack Schaefer was there for WandaVision and she's here now. So if you keep that person in charge of both parts, they're like, oh, I know what pieces, I know what this character really feels. When you have like a million people touching in Wanda, it gets mixed up. Are you satisfied by this finale's, um, or really episode eight and nine, reveal this, that the Witch's Road did not exist until Billy manifested the, it? Uh, I think even if I didn't believe when one of you guys said that on the break room, because um, I believed, I, someone said it on the break room that I was like, that this would have been Billy's mind because they have pieces in his room. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. I'm not surprised because Wanda took over an entire town of people and controlled mm-hmm. them by their minds. Um, I'm not disappointed. Uh, and it also, I, I think if this is true, then this is also true. I love that they made sure that like, yeah, nothing that crazy happened on the road. Like nothing, like any, everyone that died either died by choice, well died by choice or Agatha did it. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, I guess, I guess they did stick to the rules of, of like, if this was in Billy's mind, what would have happened? Um, so no, it doesn't disappoint me that much. Yeah. I'm not disappointed either. I, the reveal did not have the narrative whoa no it did that i think either. the writers it expected either. that it, it did would. not be either and i feel bad and it's not just because we saw these clues i think they wanted us to spot these clues they put it in his no, room 100%. they wanted it to be kind well, of a usual suspects thing where it's all on the walls and if you just look at the walls but, I think but it wanted- was not a usual suspects yeah. kaiser so they reveal this was just kind of like it, it if anything it sucked a little bit of the wind because the fact that the witch's road feels like a real realm was kind of what gave it its power to us that this is something that all witches go down and the fact that there is like historical lore when you go online Agatha Harkness is described as the only known survivor of the witch's road implying that some witches believe that there is this this voyage to Valinor that that actually does exist it's not just something that is a, a fairy tale so for it to be implied to be only a fairy tale until it was made real by this kid who just inherited these powers through this crazy cosmic occurrence it does make me feel a little like mm, i i wanted the witch's road to be a real thing that manifests in different forms to other witches i think i mean it's the wizard of oz it's like 
uh, it's not there. <laughs> there is no Wizard of Oz. It's like, or at least for her, it was like this is all made up. This is not a real world. But what the beauty of the uh, the Wizard of Oz is, you don't know if it's a dream. You yeah. don't. It's it's like it's implied that she actually did go, and it's kind of like Nolan's Inception. It ends with the question rather than an answer, saying that the I don't like that the song. Uh, that's was just a part. trick because it meant so much to all of us. You know? I don't think that I don't agree with that. Or at least for me, I was like, I don't think the song meant anything to me. Also, because I like the song, it's not the greatest song. It wouldn't have charted 100. But <laughs> I, I love the song. But I'm like, it wasn't that great. We need to stop acting like it's the greatest song that Disney has ever written. But uh, I was like, that was the only takeaway for me. But I think it's the emotion behind the fact that Lorna Wu wrote this song for her coven, which was her fans, and she believed so deeply in it. And I was like, years of a single family believing so much in this thing, and it's just not real. That sucks for that family. I don't mm. really care about the song. I don't care about the road itself. I'm more so like, damn, that sucks for Alice's entire family that believe they had a curse, that wrote this song, that did all this, right. was afraid of the spirits. And then maybe it was just like, not real but i also think uh and you, yes yeah. that is absolutely one way to look at it in other ways uh the the Wu gulliver family have been the only ones to actually find real actual meaning mm. out of that song yeah she made it her own and that connection between lorna and her daughter is real and is yeah, valid okay. and and we can thank the song for providing that connection. I like how you're them. like, so, so sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I just remember, I was like, I, I like that you're like, I feel bad. We didn't get enough Jennifer story. I'm like, I feel bad at how they kind of played off Alice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like that, that kind of sucks is that she just straight up dies. And then, but the, even the song, the song meant so much to her family. She was like, I didn't believe that shit. I hated it justice for alice because the road wasn't real uh but like the it, fact that lilia got such a powerful send-off makes it feel like the other witches for not having equally powerful send-offs feel a little sad it sucks know, for, i just think it sucks for alice i was like damn r.i.p alice i was like not only she was right she like i released this curse uh, i finally found peace in my mom i understand my mom now and maybe you need that ignorance when you're dying though the ignorance of like the road wasn't real because god forbid you kill me on the witch's road and then in the afterlife i find out that this was all within billy i'd be like bring me back i'd be like bring me back I'm but i think it, it makes sense for the writers to establish it that way because they entered a, a writer's room with a blank board and mm -hmm. filled it with information. So I think they have a deeper appreciation for the idea of creation, like a creative uh, world building process, making something out of nothing uh, and populating that and giving it meaning. Whereas for the viewers, we enter these shows feeling like, you know, these stories have always kind of existed and now people are having new interpretations of things. And and we are so impressed by the world building, mm -hmm. the way these um, set builders and visual effects artists and composers and, and customers and everyone who makes the show, the way they bring it to life, it makes it feel like it always existed. And we are just mm -hmm. being brought into this world. Mm -hmm. So it, we, and then we believe it. That's part of the willing suspension of disbelief when you watch these shows. So when you tell the audience that uh, this beautiful thing that we've been living on was just like a, a kid's creation, uh, we it's harder for us to process that than I, I think it does you. for the writers who made it. That's true. It could be. I also am not a smart person like Eric, so I'm not going to go in depth about this. I was like, I don't know film like you this. Are so smart, I cannot, and you are smarter just, than me like, when you watch I'm these like, shows. I think don't it's also that short. like there's people that are just like, yeah, it, it doesn't really like take away too much. It's not like a mysterious thing that like Santa's not real. Um, I think that's why what? it's okay. <laughs> <gasps> What? Um, no. Check, please. <laughs> check, please. Uh, Dash, well, I'm leaving and I'm never returning because I just spoiled a big surprise for a lot of people watching. <laughs> I uh, I don't want people to feel like that. I just feel like um, I, I really loved this ending and I loved what it prioritized emotionally for the viewer. Um, I was very moved by this and I was like pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Um, I am just saying like that big oh, Kaiser Soze moment of it was all in Billy's mind. It didn't hit for me no. and but that's okay i because ultimately i was completely satisfied also, uh with some exceptions i was very very satisfied by the ending and the reveal of ghost agatha and in the yeah. the 
way the show ends visually. I loved it. Also, remember, there was like probably two other reveals that were supposed to be kind of secret that were kind of expelled in the middle of the yeah. season. Oh, for sure. Because <laughs> the whole like the, the Rio reveal was supposed to be that. And it would have been that if we weren't like, if a lot of people weren't uh, mm-hmm. already knew or whatever. And then the same with, I remember talking to my friends about the Wiccan, uh, the Wiccan reveal because it was in the captions and they were like, I don't know what you're talking about. Why would you tell me this? And I was like, I just assumed everybody knew. I was like, I, I thought we all knew. Everyone, they're tweeting at me all about, about it. And I was like, oh, I feel like these reveals would be so good for sometimes for people if they weren't like in our positions where it's like, sometimes we get thrown at it and it's like, oh, I didn't see this and now I know. So it had a million reveals to be fair. Um, but that 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 reveal wasn't the craziest one. I, I think Jack Schaefer and uh, her entire team deserve our gratitude and applause for making a show and, and making a Marvel title that tells us more about the nature of death than any other mm-hmm. Marvel title yeah. ever before it. Oh uh, and, and death has just been such an elusive concept for everything in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, death is so inconsequential in the MCU, the number of characters who come back. Uh, the fact that Thanos could say no resurrections this time, and then Loki comes back and goes on the most interesting journey yeah. after that. I think it's almost death has been a joke, and this is the first title to make death not a joke. Uh, and even Alice, even as sad as we are about her death and and what was and what she had to go through, the fact that her death is final gives her life meaning, yeah. uh, and that is the same for Lilia, and um, and the same for his heart. Sharon, Sharon, uh, and the fact for Nick and for Nicholas Scratch as well. Yeah. Like I think uh, I loved the way Death was treated in this show, and I hope that every future Marvel title has as much respect for Death as this show did. I, I think this show though has been a, a leap in the right direction, mm-hmm. and I very much enjoyed it. Yeah, I and I think this is just they made a lot of good choices here. I think there is a world where we could have a Scarlet Witch movie uh, or just like an Agatha, uh, another chapter of Agatha. And I think Jack Schaefer needs to be in charge of it. Uh, I think this has just been a delight. Uh, And the fact that uh, we still have so many questions, I I think ultimately they did a better job with the fan uh, expectation management in this show. Like, yes, we have some like, Mm, gripes but it's all stuff that's just kind of like ancillary and doesn't feel like foundational to agatha on in this Mm -hmm. show like the core characters were served ultimately Mm -hmm. i think yeah i agree with that um there's so many questions that i'm sure you all have so join us in the break room in the morning 11 a.m pacific time uh we'll be taking all your questions i want to process all this with you and there is so much to just break down visually so i hope you are willing to just give us the weekend and then on monday you'll see our breakdown our official easter egg breakdown of episodes eight and nine um and then starting uh saturday november 9th will be uh, our the begin our rewatch series of uh, the eight Harry Potter films. So, Jesus, uh, a my lot, boy! A lot of great stuff ahead on the New Rock Stars channel. Um, subscribe to all three channels of the New Rock Stars Network. The shirt I'm wearing, Boner Family Reunion, Pitch a Tent. You can grab at our merch store, nerdriot.shop. Follow Jessica at Lulu underscore Clemens. Don't do it. It's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> Follow me at EA Voss. A huge thanks to our behind the scenes yeah. team here. Uh, Dashiell doing all the, the camera work. And then we have um, Brian and Aaron editing this episode. Uh, and we just appreciate all of you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.